Hello, this is Carol at MySiteWizard.org. Today's tutorial is to reduce the craziness in the order of your website. Let's learn how to organize our pages. First of all, let's take a look at where I've created my menu. I have my home page. I've got another page or main page. I've got another page that has many sub pages. Today's tutorial will show you how to organize and reorganize both the main categories and the sub pages. We can reach the area called pages two ways. We can click insert, we can go to new page and this pop-up will appear. Alternatively we can go to an icon that appears like pages and it takes us to the same area. This is the area that we're going to be working in. For instance, all of these areas are reflected in my menu. We have my home as number one. My next main page is create slideshow, uploading photos, and so on and so on. Now what we're going to do is first of all just show you how to rename a page. It's as easy as that. Okay, got it right that time. And now we're going to look at repositioning a page. Slideshow is actually one main category. Uploading photos is one category, but it has several sub pages associated with it. And let's go down and see how long that is. And it stops at number seven. Okay, I'm going to grab, I'm going to my drag area. I'm going to grab Create Slideshow and I'm going to move it down to the last subpage of Uploading Photos. You can see the position is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and I'm going to move it in here. It's now in the 8th position. Now that's pretty easy. Okay, now let's say I want to add a new page. I'm going to call it Blank Pages nice and original and I'm clicking through this. I want to show this on the menu. I could alternatively choose hide this page. I might be working on it. I don't want everyone to see it or I just want to link to that page within my website. Again, I don't want a part of a menu. Now this is what I want you to look at. Add after this page. In this area I can choose where I want it to appear. I'm going to go down to Organize Website. It has no sub pages. I'm going to create it like that. It's following after that. Finish. Let's check and confirm. So I'm going to go down to Organize Web Pages and here it is. It's following that. I want it to be a sub page though. So I click on this button under the column called sub pages. If I want to disassociate it, I can do that. But I do want it to be a sub page. Now, none of these changes are actually put into effect until I apply. Okay, I'm going to apply it. Let's see if it's worked. I go over to my menu. I over mouse it and here is my blank page. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Anyways, that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you'll use some of the techniques here and have smooth running in setting up your website. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate it if you could rate this video. If you want to see more uh, tutorials and ask any questions, please go to mysitewizard.org forward slash blog. Have a good life. Bye.